So, when Apple first released the iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max, the latter was the only one to come with the upgraded telephoto lens, which can zoom up to 5 times, as opposed to the iPhone 14 Pro Max's 3 times. According to a Mac Rumors report, Apple intends to release its new Tetraprism telephoto lens for the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max in 2024. Apple's flagship iPhone model can reflect light four times and provide better optical zoom than the iPhone 15 Pro Max, thanks to a compact glass structure and prism. A superior telephoto camera in the smaller model might be made possible by the rumored increase in size of the iPhone 16 Pro models. Due to space restrictions, Apple was reportedly finding it difficult to incorporate this camera technology, which is why this year's Tetraprism telephoto camera was limited to the larger iPhone 15 Pro Max. Apple is reportedly planning to increase the display sizes of the iPhone 16 Pro and iPhone 16 Pro Max to 6.9 inches and 6.3 inches, respectively, from 6.7 inches and 6.1 inches, if recent reports are to be believed. The report also claims that the iPhone 16 Pro model's Tetraprism module and camera design resemble those of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, citing internal documentation. Whether the company intends to use the same camera configuration on the iPhone 16 Pro models as well as the iPhone 15 Pro Max is currently unknown. The enhanced camera technology will also be included in the iPhone 16 Pro, according to TF Security's analyst Ming Kai Kuo, who made this announcement in September and again in November. Kuo had earlier predicted that Apple would not include the same telephoto lens in the iPhone 15 Pro model as in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. In addition to the periscope lens reported in this report, there are rumors that Apple may modify the dynamic island in 2024 by including an under-panel Face ID sensor. The last time there were rumors that Apple was developing this technology was a few years ago. According to DSCC Ross Young, the business could have started using this right away, but it chose to hold off for promotional reasons. With that, the pill-shaped design of the iPhone 16 Pro models could be replaced with a hole-punch cutout. We also anticipate the A18 Bionic chip, though it's unclear what advantages the new phones will receive from this processor. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming iPhone 16 series? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.